Imagine being forced from your home not by a natural disaster, but by the very government that's supposed to protect you. Picture it. The year is 1829. Gold, that precious glittering metal that has sparked greed and conflict time and again, is discovered in Georgia. This land, rich with resources and promise, is home to the Cherokee people. But their rights, their heritage, their very existence is soon overlooked in the face of a gold rush. The US government, seduced by the promise of wealth, decides to displace the native nations. 100,000 people from the Cherokee, Muscogee, Seminole, Chickasaw and Choctaw nations are torn from their homes. They are forced onto a path of hardship and heartbreak, a journey to a new place west of the Mississippi known as Indian Territory. And thus the stage was set for a heartbreaking chapter in American history, known today as the Trail of Tears. In 1830, the US government began what would be a decade-long forced exodus of over 100,000 Native Americans. This was no ordinary relocation. It was a forced expulsion under the guise of the Indian Removal Act, a legislation that shook the very foundations of the Cherokee, Muscogee, Seminole, Chickasaw and Choctaw nations. The Native Americans were made to leave their ancestral lands, their homes, their sacred spaces, and embark on a journey to a place they did not know, a place they did not choose, the Indian Territory, west of the Mississippi. It was a journey fraught with peril and hardship, a journey that came to be known as the Trail of Tears. They walked for hundreds of miles, their feet blistered and weary, their spirits broken but not defeated. They trudged through rugged terrain, across rivers and over mountains, their hearts heavy with the loss of their homeland. Disease was rampant, the chill of winter gnawed at their bones, and the heat of summer scorched their skin. Food was scarce, and many fell victim to hunger and malnutrition. The young and the old were hit the hardest. Children, too small to understand the magnitude of what was happening, succumbed to the harsh elements and lack of nourishment. The elderly, once revered for their wisdom and strength, were rendered helpless, their bodies unable to withstand the gruelling journey. And yet, they marched on. They marched on in the face of adversity, in the face of death, their resilience a testament to their indomitable spirit. They sang songs of sorrow and of hope, their voices echoing across the vast landscapes, a haunting reminder of their plight. But there was another, more sinister voice that echoed alongside theirs. It was the voice of greed and avarice, a voice that saw not people, but land and resources to be exploited. It was the voice of the US government, driven by an insatiable hunger for expansion. Their journey, filled with suffering and death, was a painful testament to the insatiable hunger for land and resources that drove the US government. This was not just a forced exodus, it was a forced erasure, a deliberate attempt to wipe out a people and their culture, a dark chapter in the annals of American history. The end of the Trail of Tears in 1850 did not mark the end of the Native American suffering, it was merely the beginning. This brutal journey, which stripped over 100,000 Native Americans of their ancestral homes, also stripped them of their cultural heritage. Families were torn apart, languages were lost, and traditions were buried under the weight of forced assimilation. But the atrocities did not stop there. The Wounded Knee Massacre in 1890 is another grim reminder of the continuous suffering endured by Native Americans. In the chilling cold of a South Dakota winter, over 150 people from the Lakota Nation fell victim to the US Army's bullets. Men, women and children were massacred, their lives extinguished in a storm of violence. The Trail of Tears remains a dark chapter in American history, a stark reminder of the price paid by Native Americans for the country's expansion. History, they say, is our greatest teacher, and indeed the Trail of Tears serves as a poignant lesson from our past. It's a stark reminder of the devastation that can result when greed and disregard for humanity take precedence over respect for life and cultural diversity. This journey of forced displacement marked by suffering and loss teaches us the importance of acknowledging historical injustices. It underscores the need to learn from them, to ensure they do not find a place in our future. The stories carried forward by the Cherokee, Muscogee, Seminole, Chickasaw and Choctaw nations are not just tales of their past, but lessons for our present and future. Their resilience, their strength and their survival remind us of the human spirit's indomitable will. As we move forward, 
let us bear in mind the true cost of progress and strive to create a world where such atrocities are relegated to the annals of history, never to be repeated.